Hey, what's going on, mighty black one? You know, I'm coming to you all the way live from Cahokia, Illinois. That's across the river from St. Louis. Yeah, we're neighbors over here. This is what they call the Southern Illinois part of Illinois. Yeah, you know, we're pretty close to Springfield, Illinois. You know, like many, many other miles away, it would take you up to Chicago. You know, foundational black Americans get a bad rap from uh, these different Africans and folks in the Congos and stuff and Nigerians. It's amazing how they come over here with this arrogant attitude and hate toward us. We haven't done anything to them people. Nothing. Their ancestors sold our ancestors into slavery to these white folks. We should be the ones around here mad. They don't want to connect with us. They don't even want to deal with us. And I think it's the uh, Nigerians that call us the Akata name. Well, you know, we got some names for y'all. I'm going to just tell them to call you Coons. Because most of them I have met that came over to America have been very disrespectful towards us. Even some of them that are in business. A lot of them are just as bad and worse than these damn Asian and Koreans and white folks. I remember when my partner from the Intermix radio show, Jump Street, was working at this laundromat. You know, working in a little diaper service department. And we knew this one guy that came, I think he was from Nigeria. And he was sharing with me and Jump Street that the white folks in America told him and his family to stay away from the black Americans over here, black people. And, you know, we're, and we're connected to y'all. We're, we're still Africans, too. I don't use the term African-American. I don't. Because I don't feel too American in America. Because, you know, when they get through, they calling y'all niggas behind y'all packs. Just like they're doing us. Gina, Yashua, Cynthia, Ebro, and a few of you uh, sellout Negroes that think you're special. And I glanced at that. What's that? That show on CBS? What's that? Abolicia? That's a bunch of bed winching nonsense. You know, I was looking at the little clip. I think Tyreek now she has it on his Facebook page. And I was checking it out. And the chick was going down the list of men that Nigerian women should date. And you know who's at the bottom of the list? You guessed it. Black men. And the lady that met, that was doing the little skit, it was it was Gina Yashua. She was saying, I think white men is just a tap bit above African American men. And then she came to the last choice, African American, saying it all funny in a little native tongue. I understand this chick, she's Nigerian, but she was born up in British, in Britain. Now how the hell do you have a problem with black folks? A chick. Raised over in Britain, you should have been complaining about having problems with white folks, not us. We have done anything to none of you once again. And black people, we got to quit embracing other folks just going to have dark skin like ours. Until these people have been properly vetted, that's when you make your move. But till then, I think you should treat them like enemies too. All these other different minorities, the Carly B's, the DJ Calix, all them, the Takashi 69, whatever the little motherfucker name is, uh, Macklemore, all of them, stop supporting. And it's really bad with you young black people. And I think it's my age generation that did a piss poor job educating y'all. Y'all think it's cool to be wench? And oh, speaking of bed wench, and a lot of y'all that was with this guy, DJ Kid. And, and these little young women, they're walking around with some type of disease from, I don't know if it's AIDS or whatever the sexual disease is. You shouldn't have had no type of contact with that white boy in the first place. Black people, stop hating yourselves. And we got to stop embracing everybody else as one of us. We need to get on one accord here in America. Everybody else making dibs off us. We need to stop that right now. And start investing in ourselves, looking out for ourselves. There's no justice or nothing for us. And the words of Vicki uh, Dillard and R. Kathy, 
We're at war. And we need to prepare to fight. Have a good day.